hell are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Here's Shepard now. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. <clears throat> Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I'm med physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. I'm afraid I'll have to speak with CSEC about securing our supplies. Desperate people can do desperate things. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Welcome to Serta. Serta is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? Thank you for shopping. The council called the invaders weepers. Mission stable now. Seven touch and go. Good work on the trade. Narrow service still the best point of action. I'll see if we have the required stracial bindings. Meet you back here. Pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing.
You hang in there, all right? I need you up and reporting for duty ASAP. You hear me, soldier? If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. to see you again so soon? Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? I... I, I don't understand. It doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? Be safe. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to the incoming Reaper forces. So, you're just silent behind enemy lines until the war is over? No, they've got us on rotation. We're mostly in the fortified holding zones until strike teams clear an area. Then we come in and set up medical bunkers and supply depots. And then the main fleet comes in to occupy. I'm not wearing commando leather, honey. What does that mean? We'll be perfectly safe. They don't put engineers on the front lines. But you won't be able to talk to us. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Citadel. This is Docking Bay D-24. Note that due to recent events, official identification and weapons permits may be requested by CSAC personnel for routine verification. Any other important areas I should know about? Docking Bay E-24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. If you wish to contact your species' official Citadel representative, please go to Citadel Embassies. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. What's with the heightened security? New screening fields have been added in order to speed up processing at the security stations in each docking area. Citadel security screening technology uses highly advanced biometric authentication systems developed by the CERTA Foundation. Please note that any attempt to circumvent Citadel security measures will result in immediate incarceration. What else is in the area? You are standing in docking area D-24. According to your biometrics file, you are cleared to access further information about this bay. This is the airlock currently assigned to the Systems Alliance ship Normandy. If you look out the bay window, you can see one of the many magnificent vistas for which the Citadel is renowned. What about that room over there? The waiting area is for those who wish to speak to our new arrivals. It is located next to security processing. That's all. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. 
Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you all right? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? The Reapers are here, now. And the Council, the other races, are only interested in looking after themselves. How many civilians are dying while they wait for us to make the first move? At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. They'll come around. They've got to. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... attractive your voice was. 
Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council has been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. 